What's up guys? It is Sunday today. I started my day off with some cardio and some breakfast. Got a little bit of work done. So now I'm headed to Gold's and I'm actually going to be meeting to train and hang out with a girl that had reached out to me a couple of weeks ago via email. She said she was in LA for about eight weeks doing an internship and while she's here she's really just trying to optimize her time and meet as many influential people in the fitness industry and kind of network. She just asked if we could hang out, spend the day together. She said she wanted to pick my brain as she takes her career to the next level and just kind of talk to me about the things I've done to become successful in the fitness industry and any advice that I have for her. She finishes her internship and starts looking into career opportunities. I don't know too much about her, but I'm really excited to meet her. We're going to train at Gold's. She's only in LA for eight weeks. She has not been to Gold's Venice yet, so I had to make sure that that happened for her. And then we're gonna grab some lunch and maybe some froyo. who knows. I'm really excited to take this opportunity to meet with her and I will take you guys along with us throughout the day. Cause I can fly, I can fly. you will see all of the exercises that we performed on today's shoulder day. As I had mentioned, my training has recently changed and that includes the set and rep schemes. So for all of these exercises, they were performed in sets of four, with the first set being reps of 20, which was essentially a warm-up set, the second set being reps of 15 at a moderate weight, and the third set being reps of 10 at a heavy weight. For the fourth set, we then pushed for our three rep max. If we were able to perform more than three reps, we bumped the weight up until we were able to do three or less reps at that challenging weight. So that is what you, you would have just saw in the previous footage. Paris, how do you feel? Oh, so good. I feel so pumped right now. <laughs> you know, training with someone is so nice because as you guys know, I'm in my improvement season now, so my training routine has changed and now my goals are more strength-based. With all my exercises, I'm pushing for a three rep max. And a lot of times, you know, we can push those three rep maxes, but we doubt ourselves. It's our minds that we have to convince, not our bodies. To have Paris there and be 
able to train with someone and just have that little extra push to maybe get that first rep up uh, or just get that last rep in like hey girl keep going you got this was awesome so we crushed our shoulder workout and we are leaving gold now and where are we going some froyo. <laughs> We're gonna go get some froyo. Paris has not been uh, to the Venice boardwalk yet either, so we're gonna throw our stuff in the car and walk down to the beach and walk the boardwalk. We'll catch you guys in the next clip. Yay! We have arrived, y'all. On the boardwalk. Sundays in Venice. How cute is this? Those are my favorite. There's your brownie bin. This is only Paris's second time having froyo. Can y'all <laughs> believe that? Her first time ever eating frozen yogurt was a month ago. What? We are sitting on the beach now and we are going to enjoy our post workout froyo. Should we show them what we got? Yes. I got, oh, graham cracker, and then I put cookies, Skittles, M&M's, brownie bits because it's so good, and cinnamon, cinnamon toast crunch. Mm. Mine is a peanut butter base. It was a low carb and sugar free option. And then I put a little bit of the pumpkin froyo in there as well. I topped it with a bunch of random stuff. So <laughs> there are yogurt chips, sprinkles, a couple chocolate chips, a little bit of mochi, some Reese's Pieces, <laughs> some cookie dough, and a couple of Sour Patch watermelons. This is my first time having Froyo since I started my improvement season. Yes. I'm such a bad influence. No. This, <laughs> don't ever let anybody tell you that Froyo is bad for you. If somebody tells you Froyo is bad for you, you don't need them in your life. No. You don't need that kind of negativity uh -uh. in your life. No. <laughs> Comment below what your favorite Froyo toppings are. Do you guys just put all the toppings or do you have like a scheme like do you stick with chocolates you know and Amanda once told me that I'm weird for putting the sour gummies in my froyo but I'm a fan look you gotta do what you gotta do yeah. <laughs> do what makes you happy guys chat just about kind of like following your passion and taking risks and Paris took a big risk coming out here to California from Georgia. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just making changes from things that maybe we once expected of ourselves um, is a little bit scary. Just to make changes in general is scary and um, I just talked to Paris a little bit about my personal journey and as you guys probably know from watching my previous videos if you watch my like second or third video that I ever posted talked about how uh, my background is in psychology and how I worked for about four or five years as a psychologist before I got into fitness full-time I left a full-time stable job and paycheck I was definitely grateful for everything that I had but I knew deep down that I was not doing something that I was extremely passionate about I didn't wake up every day feeling excited I didn't feel fulfilled my heart wasn't fulfilled and I knew where my passion lies but I also knew that to get there I had to take a really big risk I just shared with Paris the risks that I've taken to get where I am today although they're scary and change is really scary and you may be leaving stability behind ultimately I can now say that I'm in the happiest place that I've, I've been ever don't let fear stop you from doing things that you want to do and that's kind of just what we've been chatting about over <laughs> froyo pretty much empty pretty much gone we killed that froyo but it was well deserved after that workout you guys Paris is starting a YouTube channel as well I just subscribed to her channel so let me show y'all so if you want to subscribe to Paris's channel Paris Nicole fitness first video welcome to my channel and I'm going to watch that as soon as I get home she is an amazing human being and I'm so glad that we got the <laughs> opportunity to hang out learn more about each other you can never have too many friends and too many connections and now we're friends for life Yay! <laughs> <laughs> After I leave our little hangout, I have a bunch of work to do, but I also am leaving for New York for the YouTubers retreat on Tuesday, and I still have not gotten the final pieces for my Halloween costume. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, I thrive on procrastination. <laughs> 
<laughs> so Same. I'm hoping that I can find something. I hope y'all are having an amazing day. If you liked this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will catch y'all next time. Bye.